Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Human Rights Commission, Dr. Bender bin Mohammed Al Ayban, to greet His Majesty upon his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed Dr. Bender bin Mohammed Al Ayban and expressed pride in the depth of historic and broadly relations between the two kingdoms and the advanced level of bilateral cooperation in all fields, especially in supporting international trends aimed at protecting human rights. His Majesty the King commended the honorable stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques in supporting Bahrain and its people as well as his efforts in strengthening relations between the two countries. His Majesty also hailed Saudi Arabia's comprehensive development witnessed during the prosperous era of the Saudi monarch. His Majesty hailed Saudi Arabia's interest in human rights which has made great strides in promoting these rights and caring for citizens as well as in ensuring the promotion of these rights. His Majesty See the king affirmed that Bahrain's democratic experience stems from the people's will and consensus, stressing the keenness for it to be in line with the teachings of Islam and traditions that are based on mutual respect and appreciation among all. He also hailed Bahrain's honorable human rights record, stressing the keenness to provide decent living standards for citizens in all fields. His Majesty affirmed the importance of these visits between officials of both countries for their role in enhancing joint coordination. For his part, Dr. Bender bin Mohammed Al Ayban expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome he received during his visit, affirming the depth of historic relations between the two kingdoms and peoples. He also hailed Bahrain's pioneering achievements and continuous progress in all fields thanks to the leadership of His Majesty, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a housing minister Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar at the Safriya Palace today, where Al Hamar dedicated a book to His Majesty that highlights the achievements of the ministry across the kingdom. His Majesty praised the efforts behind the writing of the book and thanked the minister, as well as everyone who was affiliated to the ministry, for their efforts in making housing projects a reality, which His Majesty said have decreased the size of waiting lists through offering a variety of options and initiatives. His Majesty affirmed his keenness on meeting the needs and aspirations of the citizens as it represents the basis for development and progress of the kingdom, especially offering suitable housing to every citizen. His Majesty added that the Bahraini people deserve such care and that the achievements of the housing ministry must be preserved and further developed for the coming generations. Presenting the book to His Majesty the King coincides with Bahrain's celebrations of the anniversary of the National Action Charter, for which the minister congratulated His Majesty the King in light of the achievements it has brought to Bahrain across all aspects, especially in the field of housing. The book discussed the key moments of the Ministry of Housing's history since the inception of the social housing program in the 1960s up to the present moment, such as the construction of Isa Town, the establishment of the Housing Ministry in 1975, and His Majesty's directives to build 40,000 housing units in the recent years. The book also discusses the present and future plans of the ministry as well as its partnership with the private sector as per Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace, Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA President, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty a copy of the Holy Quran with a luxurious cover engraved with Islamic decorations and calligraphy, which was printed by the Authority as part of Muharraq, the Capital of Islamic Culture 2018 functions. Sheikh Hamay also presented to His Majesty a book titled Investing in Culture which documents the contributions of the supporters of the Investment in Culture project launched by the authority, which includes the construction of a large number of infrastructure and cultural landmarks, including the Bahrain National Theatre, which came with the full support of His Majesty. His Majesty hailed and praised these valuable publications and hailed the efforts of the authority in preserving national heritage and cultural features of Bahrain, in addition to enriching the 
cultural and literacy movement, wishing her and all workers in the sector continued progress and success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa this morning at Qadabiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince discussed the ongoing efforts to train and employ college graduates. They affirmed that the development of plans and strategies to integrate college graduates into the labour market must continue, especially in light of the challenges of the present moment. They also affirmed the the importance of, uh, of anticipating the numbers of future graduates in order to plan to absorb them into the labor market in cooperation with the relevant authorities in the labor and education sectors to ensure that the citizens is the greatest beneficiary of the government's efforts. His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also expressed satisfaction with the levels of success that have been achieved in terms of cooperation between the public and private sectors, especially as it pertains to the employment process. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held an ordinary weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace this morning along with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. After the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser made the following statement. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed gratitude to the people of Bahrain for their genuine and patriotic feelings which have been expressed through the events and celebrations that citizens have organized across the kingdom. His Royal Highness said that this reflects the unity and loyalty of the Bahraini people. To mark the World Day for Social Justice, His Royal Highness the Premier expressed pride in the achievements of the government in realizing social justice through its effective plans which have provided society with security, justice and development. In the spirit of pushing for further development and progress in the service of the citizens, His Royal Highness the Premier followed up on the project to build Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Specialist Hospital in Awali, as well as the projects that are being implemented in Muharraq. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of adhering to the set timetable to complete these projects following a presentation by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Premier issued directives to work on beautiful unifying the areas that lie between Manama and Mahara by paying greater attention to the coastal areas and through the building of various facilities there.
The cabinet approved amending the executive regulation of the civil aviation law to ensure that the issuance of travel agencies' licenses is transferred to the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, after the approval of the civil aviation affairs. The cabinet approved, based on a recommendation by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs and presented by the Deputy Premier and Committee Chairman, the necessary legal tools to implement the first phase of the health insurance system by approving seven draft decrees and resolutions. The session approved the Kingdom's accession to the United Nations Convention on the Use of Electronic Communications in International Contracts, the Electronic Communications Convention, which is a treaty that aims at facilitating the use of electronic communications in international trade. The session discussed the Kingdom's ratification of four Arab conventions and protocols presented by the Minister of the Interior and decided to refer them to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The session discussed amending the current civil aviation law so as to keep abreast of the latest international requirements and enhance the safety and security of aviation in the kingdom. The cabinet endorsed a memorandum of understanding and MOU between Bahrain's National Health Regularity Authority, the NHRA, and Saudi Arabia's Saudi Food and Drug Authority, SFDA. The session referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs, a financing agreement between the Labour Market Regularity Authority, LMRA, Bahrain's National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the UNDOC, for the Gulf Corporation Council countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received President of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Human Rights Commission, Dr. Bender bin Mohammed Al Ayban, along with a number of members of the Commission at Qadabiya Palace today. His Royal Highness affirmed that the religion of Islam is the first to have safeguarded human rights and that Saudi Arabia, through its maintenance of Islam's holiest mosques and its commitment to the cause of Muslims, has been promoting human rights since the establishment of the Kingdom under King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman al Saud, up to the present moment, under the leadership of the guardian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and his crown prince. Dr. Al Ayban conveyed the regards of the guardian of the two holy mosques to His Royal Highness the Premier and congratulated him for the achievements of the kingdom in the field of human rights. During the meeting, His Royal Highness praised the Bahrain Saudi relations, which are deep rooted and have a long history. His Royal Highness added that Saudi Arabia enjoys a leading regional and global role and will remain to be the key backer of the Arab and Islamic peoples as is evident in its commitment to the stability of the region and its protection and maintenance of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness praised the progress that Saudi Arabia is experiencing in all aspects under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques along with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister Mohammed bin Salman al Saud, and affirmed that Saudi Arabia fortunes reinforces those of the Arab and Islamic worlds. His Royal Highness the Premier said that Bahrain and Saudi Arabia have similar visions when it comes to human rights, which is based on the teachings of the religion of Islam, which emphasizes the protection of these rights and rejects politicizing them for political gains. For his part, Dr. Al Ayban expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness the Premier for his efforts in reinforcing the brotherly relations between the two countries and praised the policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain at the regional and global levels, as well as His Royal Highness's commitment to the protection of human rights in Bahrain, which have achieved a long track record of achievements and progress in this field. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, received in his office a high-level delegation from the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP. Independent country program evaluation currently under the chairmanship of Arilald Haig and a number of officials. The delegation's visit aims to evaluate the world document for the years 2017 to 2020, which identifies the type of development projects to be carried out in accordance with the economic vision of Bahrain 2030 and to measure the impact of the documents on achieving the desired development objectives of government agencies. Minister Mirza briefed the delegation on the most important projects and achievements in the kingdom in the electricity, water and renewable energy sector. For its part, the delegation expressed thanks for the cooperation in providing all the information comprehensively, hailing all the efforts and projects that are being implemented for the development and prosperity of the kingdom. 
The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, today announced that over 2,000 local and international vendors have registered for the VAT. The NBR recognized the private sector's efforts exerted towards ensuring the proper implementation of the VAT, which includes registering for the new policy prior to levying the standard 5% VAT. Consumers are reminded that all registered vendors are legally required to display their VAT registration certificate that includes vendors' commercial registration number and their VAT registration date.